Okay, this is the tutorial I was telling you about. I've made this is the third time I've tried to make it, so hopefully it'll work this time. Uh, let me go ahead and close all these. Um, the first thing you need to do is this is for the Wii. We're going to do two things. We're going to do the Xbox and the Wii. The first thing for the Wii is you need Wii Backup Manager. And you'll see it here under GBA Temp right here. It's the first choice. So I'm going to click on that. And then once I click on that, I'm just going to go here so I can pause it because you can only do 10 minute YouTube videos. I'm going to click on the Wii Backup Manager .co .uk here. And then from there, you're going to wait. And then you're going to click on download, which is right here. Don't click on any other download button. This one right here. Just like every other website, they make money from ads. And you're going to click on the newest one, Wii Backup Manager Build 78. Click on that. And then you're going to go down here to hosted, download. There'll be an advertisement here. Ignore it. Don't click on anything. You've got three seconds up here. That's what you're going to be looking at. You're going to press skip. Once you do that, then you'll see a download pop up here. It says We Backup Manager. You're going to have to unzip that, which we will in one second. It'll unzip by itself. Uh, it will for me. If it doesn't for you, then you can go to. Uh, you also will need something called WinRAR too, maybe. <clears throat> you'll extract it to a place, and then you'll click on We Backup Manager underscore Win32. Double click it, and it'll install. Uh, no, I'm sorry. You'll have to put this in. No, that's right. To install. It. Okay. All right. So this is just for the backup manager. Now, real quickly, I'm going to show you something. Um, okay, once you actually um, put your disk, your hard disk, um, that Toshiba drive, onto your computer, you're going to get a, a caution message. One of the, uh, it'll ask you to format your drive. Don't do it. So you're going to get a message. The message is going to say, format disk, don't do it. Press cancel. Once, OK, now you're going to go to all programs. Go down to the bottom. Go to Wii Backup Manager. Now click there and open it up. Once you open up Wii Backup Manager, you've got a series of tabs here. This is really what you're going to be working with. Um, you've also got a tool for formatting. You can do that if you want. Um, but if you do, you're going to erase everything on your drive. So I probably would say don't do anything with that. Um, but that is something that you'd have to do if you got a new um, disk. You'd have to format it under WBFS. Um, that said, we need to find out what drive. So remember how that little caution button came up? You're going to look for a drive with no blue or red here, and that's your local R. When you click on it, you'll get that same message here. So cancel that. That's OK. And that's your number or letter, letter R, right? So you're going to go to um, DVD or drive, I'm sorry, one. You're going to click on that. And it says inactive here. You're going to click over there. And obviously, Drive R was the one that's specially formatted for the Wii, so it can't be recognized by Windows. And you'll notice I've got some games here. I'm going to take one game off by checking it, then remove, select it, yes. OK? Now I'm going to go back to Files. I want to add a file to my, my queue here. So I'm going to go find a file quickly. Computer. Got a file here under 750K. Got several files. Uh, we want to get that new Mario that I just deleted off there so I can show you. 
So I'll go under here and go under New Super Mario right there. Okay, got New Super Mario. Oh, nice. So we'll go here. So we need to add files. And remember, I showed you with that new. So I've already picked it. So there you go, and open it. Okay. Now it's under files here, and we need to check that one. We've got we've already used add before, so now we need to transfer that. And remember over here where it said inactive, we changed it to R. And we've got these four games. We're going to go to file. We're going to check this box. We're going to click transfer, and we're going to choose drive one. It's going to do that. Okay, the status bar is almost done. It only took about 30 seconds to a minute. And now see we're still under files and you'll see the new Super Mario is still under there. We'll go to number one and you'll see now it's also on drive one. So that's how you add a game to your drive. Remember this drive one is your R drive. It's not recognized by your computer. You shouldn't format it. If you do, then <laughs> you're not going to have those games on there anymore. Okay? Um, so that's how you do that. Also, you can probably transfer these over to another drive. So if you go here, and let's say um, letter D, remember I had that? It's file driver, there's no W8, that's create, sure. Sure. It's just creating a folder in there. Okay? So now I can transfer this one. Oops, transfer this one to drive two. And once that's done, I'm going to refresh drive two. And you should see WBF and New Super Mario. There it is. Um, now this changes it to a WBFS file, which is a smaller file, you'll see. It's not the 4 whatever gigabyte, but still it's backed up on there. Um, and you can put that back on here, but that's okay, I don't really need this, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete that whole thing. But that is how you could back it up. I think you're able to... Anyways, it doesn't matter. Okay? So that's your Wii Backup Manager tutorial. Um, like I said before, um, you know that Toshiba drive doesn't work very well, so you might want to consider getting a 2.0 USB hard drive instead of 3.0 hard drive. By the way, real quick, just to show you what I mean, um, you can go under Wii H uh, hard drive compatibility and you can look here and I'll show you where yours is. Um, to show you that it does not work. I'm going to pause this while I do it though. Okay, so we're going to go down to, um, we need to go to 500 gigabytes. You look above here and I've got them. So yours is a 500 gigabyte, so we'll click on that. And then it's a Toshiba, so we've got A, B, C, F, H, L, all the way down to T. Uh, Seagate, Seagate seems to be pretty good. Toshiba right here. Um, see it says not tested, not tested for this one, this is a USB 2.0, but it works for probably one of them. And then you've got yours, which is this one right here, the 3.0, USB 3.0 Canvio portable hard drive, and look, does not work, not tested, does not work. Um, so yours doesn't work, um, you know, right out of the box. Um, when I show, when I make the video of me using mine, you'll notice I don't have to plug it in, but I'll show you what you need to do. Alright, 